The most intoxicating word in the world of mixed martial arts is potential. Every fighter starts out with a clean slate and lofty dreams. But fight by fight, the talent pool shrinks. And only a select few will rise to the top in the UFC. You've done your part so far, growing your fan following while earning the respect of your peers in the octagon, stamping yourself as a fighter on the fast track to a championship. But even now, it's clear that this taste of success will either push you to greater heights or send you tumbling, making your winning streak a distant memory. Which path will you choose? Hey everyone, I'm Megan O'Leavy, and here's what you need to know for your UFC Minute. Throughout the history of the UFC, it's no secret that having a strong wrestling game has been a key to success for several world champions and Hall of Famers. This middleweight fighter seems to agree, as he announced this week that he was making the move to a new camp, where the focus is on embracing the grind and getting down to business in the wrestling room on a daily basis. That's it for today. Stay tuned for your next UFC Minute, and I'll see you at the fights. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC middleweight division fight. All right, so here is this defensively gifted fighter and certainly has some offense as well, but more often than not, that offense is set up by his sound defense. He uses movement beautifully, uses his defense to create offensive angles. This guy can stick and move with the best of the man, and even when you think you have him in a bad position, more often than not, swivels that head off of the center line and counters you right in the jaw. So an outstanding defensive striker, very good counterattacks, and a very interesting matchup in front of him tonight. This fighter has an iron jaw. I have seen him take shots on the chin and not be affected, shots that would knock a lesser man completely unconscious. So as this knockout force makes his way to the octagon, Joe, this is not a guy you want to stand on a napkin in the center of the octagon and trade punches with. You get in a slugfest with this guy, more often than not, you're concussed, twitching on the canvas. You can be sure he'll be looking to make contact and find a home for those heavy hands early and often. Power for days, power in all of his strikes. Scary, scary addition to this division and a guy who a lot of people believe will be an immediate contender. This guy is extremely well-rounded. His submissions are world-class. His striking is excellent. And he is extremely unpredictable in what attack he chooses to go with. Our tale of the tape for this much-anticipated middleweight encounter. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters, and they both possess a similar height and reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC middleweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the group one, a kickboxer holding professional record on 13 wins, one loss. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds, fighting out of New York. Oh! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is an mixed martial artist holding professional record on 41 wins. 19 losses and two draws. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, USA, Nate the Great Marquardt! And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, third man in the go, octagon on, for this ready? one. Are you ready? Let's go, come on! Joe, huge block there. The defense is holding up. He's got good accuracy on that jab. 
kick to the body by Marco. Blocks the shot. Oh, there's a big shot. What a leg kick! He's fainting with that kick. Well, he got his head snapped back by that straight hand there, and he's shown a vulnerability tonight by leaning right into that punch as he tries to set up his own offense. May want to focus on some defense here moving forward. Oh, he connects there. He faints with the kick. The kick gets through. Hook to the head by Brown. Big left hand lands upstairs. Well, that'll quiet the storm shot blocked by Marco. Under three minutes now to go in the round. Yeah, it's it's freak. It's like he's cheating. You know, it's like he's got rocks in his gloves. Big left hand there inside. He's just picking him apart. Flipped him with the jab. Oh, he's going for it. Oh. Mark Hart's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. Well, he just hasn't been efficient with his strikes here tonight. There's another swing and a miss. And at this point, if he can't preserve some stamina moving forward, this is going to end up being an awfully long night. Oh, he lands yet another hook here. He certainly landed several in this round and starting to find a home for it consistently. Couldn't agree with you more. Nice punch by Brown. Oh, high-level defense there. The hook shot is blocked by Nate Marcourt. The cut on his cheek is getting nasty. Well, informed speculation says he's going to try oh, to set up another hook here. Oh. oh, he is up, but man, is he hurt. A finish could come here at any time. Good defense there. Again engaging in the clinch here, Joe. Oh, ferocious knees. Final second to round one. Court's able to attain the underhook here. Nice job to pummel. Now let's see what he can do. Round two next. Let's see that again from another angle. Let's see it one more time. Palmer holding it down. Here you go. Are you ready? Round go. two is underway. Now starting off this round, you've got to think that the barrage that he endured in that last round is still affecting him. He's going to want to start this round off and move and avoid taking any damage. Oh, he connects again with the hook there. He did a lot of damage with it in the previous round. If it's not broken, you know how the saying goes. Nice punch there by Nate Marquardt. Well, there's no denying his credentials as a striker, but he felt like more often than not in the UFC, he was unable to keep the fight where he is strongest because his takedown defense just wasn't up to par with the stronger wrestlers in this division. So what does he do? Leaves his longtime striking gym, steps firmly out of his comfort zone, and goes to one of the best wrestling gyms in the world. Let's see if it pays dividends here. Oh, he's getting some hip in that one. Well, he got cracked to the head there, Joe. He's going to have to change. Oh, he tagged him. He tagged him with the right hand. Well, he has landed some good shots tonight, Joe, but as yet, he's been unable to string together any solid combinations, and that has served to keep his opponent in this fight. So let's see if he can change up the tempo a little bit with his strikes and try to put together a combination that is more damaging to his opponent. With conviction to the body. Just reached the midpoint of the fight. 
Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh! This is a huge oh! hook to the head. from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Brown. That cut on his cheek is really nasty. They may stop this fight. Oh, he got an arm bar here. Throws the leg over the face. Now he's got to extend his body. He's got to extend the body. He's got it locked up. And he gets out of it. Deep arm bar. Beautiful escape. Working from full guard. Excellent movement here on the ground. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Brown. Fighters back to their feet here. Oh, there's the kick right underneath the elbow. Mark Hart's uppercut to the head. That one, though, blocked by the defense. And he connects with the punch there. Brown gets touched by that leg kick attempt. Wow. Ooh, that uppercut landed for him. A big shot to the head. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. Things just got real interesting. Here we go. Final round. You ready? You ready? Let's Third go. round underway. Well, most fighters can't keep oh. him. Oh, him. He's got him hurt here. Man has his chin been tested in. A huge roundhouse kick for the knockout. Yeah, Joe, knockouts don't get much more prettier or much more flush than that. Full force and full extension on the kick, and there was no chance after that, Joe. The fight was really over as soon as that kick made contact. An outstanding highlight for that young fighter here tonight. And here we see it from a different angle. Look at the power in that kick, and as soon as it lands, that is the end. Great angle here. Boom. So a huge result and a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the big knockout win. That could hold up as one of the better KOs of the year. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop in this contest at 20 seconds of round number three. Join the winner by knockout, Brown. So there he is, the man of the moment. Certainly maximized the showcase here tonight, Joey. Gets a big win by way of the knockout. Certainly kept the judges out of it here tonight. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way, but there will be no wiping the smile off of his face tonight. He will party deep into the night with his friends, his family. A huge knockout turned in by that man here tonight. And he has set himself up for a huge fight now, moving forward inside the octagon.